Nowadays, some of the most extreme and dramatic cosmetic surgery is done in the dentist chair. And one of those chairs belongs to our next guest. Please welcome the dentist to the stars, Dr. Bill Dorfman. <laughs> TV. Nice hey, to see you. Thanks for being you? here. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm a big me. believer in a good smile. And it, it, can really, it can really replace necessarily having plastic surgery. Yeah, in fact, a lot of times we do something called a smile lift. And that's where, as you get older, your face starts to kind of collapse in a little bit, just like a balloon that deflates. If you build out your teeth, a lot of times you can restore and make a face look really young again without having to do all that plastic surgery. So even surgery. like lips that are sort of turned down and get all wrinkly, what do you do? How do you build it up yeah, and make it well, not think look about like, it, like elephant teeth? Like like if you have a curtain hanging over something and you push it out, it lifts it up. And sometimes the lip starts to get really long. So if you build the teeth out a little bit, it raises the lip up and it gives a nice little curve up here. And it's almost like you have permanent collagen in your lip. Really? I've never heard of that. That is Works. Wow. I mean, I have Invisalign now. I wear Invisalign at night as a bite plate and also to keep my teeth straight. That's good? I'm, That's I can't help really but feel self-conscious. Like, That's he's looking really at my good. teeth and thinking I should but, do something. But we could do so many things with teeth. And then there's there's weird trends. Like, a few years ago, everybody wanted to have vampire teeth. Like, don't do that. Okay, okay? I don't know. Did anybody yeah. here no, want people, to go along with that trend? No, no. People came to my office. Or when Madonna made her comeback, all oh, of a right. sudden, all these women are coming in saying, I want a gap in my teeth. I'm like, wait a minute. I have to drill a space between your teeth. Don't tell me you did that. I wouldn't. But I said, you know, if you really want to do it, go down the hall. When the dentist there gets his license back, he'll do it. Oh. I, I won't. <laughs> wow, wow. That is absolutely crazy. All right, tell us about Janice. What did you do with her? Janice was amazing. I walk into room seven and there's this beautiful woman there who flew all the way across country to my office. She tells me her whole story. I looked at her mouth and I said, you want to be on TV? She's like, what are you talking about, doc? I said, we're going to be on Ricky Lake. Well, you know what? Let's and we take a look it. and see Janice and what you were able to do with her. Here she is. What's going on with my mouth is um, from sucking my thumb, I have um, what they call in this world, bunk teeth. Then I Left side, I had a root canal here, and I had a root canal here, and um, by them not being capped, they broke, and it affects my speech. I don't want to take pictures when I'm at family outings. I wasn't at my sister's wedding because um, I didn't want to miss up my separate photo shoot. The biggest problem that Janice has is that her upper front teeth are so loose that they're literally falling out and they're kind of spreading out like this. We decided that probably the best thing to do is just take out the bad teeth. In fact, we need to remove nine teeth. We're going to replace it with what's called an immediate partial denture. She'll never be without teeth. This is gonna be a start of a new life for me. Hi, Janice. Hi, Dr. Dorfman. You nervous? No, not yet, but a little bit. Okay. okay, yeah, I'm a little nervous. You're gonna be awake the whole time. I'm gonna give you a few little shots up here, all right? They'll be out before you even know it. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, here comes the first one. All right, sweetie, that's two. You are an excellent patient. There's three, there's four, there's five. Okay, that was the easy five. There we go, that was a hard one. Perfect. I got good news for you. The upper's done. You did awesome. All right, let's get her new teeth. Wow, look how that fits in there. I'm going to sit you up, and we're going to get a little mirror. Is that beautiful or what? Thank you. Is that what you were thinking you were going to get? Wow, I don't know what's harder to watch, that or the, the breast augmentation. All right, let's see one more shot of Janice's mouth before Dr. Dorfman got to work. And I can't wait to see the after. Janice, come on out. Oh my God. Okay. That's craziness. How are you? God nice to you. see you. Oh my gosh. You're a magician. We did this in one hour. No, 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 no. That's not one possible. hour. Yes. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yes, yes. How do you feel? Um, I feel great. I do. Did it hurt? Was it painful? No, um, 
in the past, I've had dentists pull my teeth. And as a matter of fact, one dentist told me um, that he he would pull it when it hurt. And he didn't lie, but when Dr. Dorfman pulled mine, it was like, you just hear a crunch. Because you still have it, you still have hearing. Okay, right. But it, you you couldn't feel you it. You couldn't feel the pain. No, no. Was her was the work very ex extensive? It, well, okay, we took out nine teeth. Okay, but here's the thing, Ricky. When she first came to me, her teeth were so loose and they were sticking out that it gave her distortion in her profile, and she couldn't talk. It was affecting her speech. I mean, she said, speech. "I can't work without lisping and spitting on people." It was horrible for her. Immediately, the second we took out her teeth. I put in her new teeth. Now this is a removable appliance. Yeah, I was going to ask. So it's yeah, like, it's, it's a like removable a appliance. Okay. But we put in her new teeth, and immediately her profile was perfect. The symmetry in her face. Look at you! Oh. <laughs> Look at that! And her speech. Her speech was per. I mean, her speech is a hundred percent. She's giving me the eye right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's life changing, mm. really. I mean, honestly, we think our, our smile is is our is our what business card. It's our you know the first thing people see, right? It's the first thing that people notice about you. You know, for years I did makeover after makeover, and you ask these people what made the biggest change in your life? Their smile. Amazing. One more time. One more time. <laughs> we we have more. For Janice right after this. Welcome back. I am with Janice who just had major dental surgery and you were afraid to smile before, is that correct? A lot of times, yes. Tell us about your sister's wedding. You didn't want to be in the wedding. No, Tishan. Uh oh, uh oh. It's gonna be a... Um she called me and told me when she was getting married, and I told her, um, she said, uh, I want you to be in my wedding. And I said, No. And I really, excuse me, I really didn't want to be. And then because I didn't want to mess up her, her, her shoot. Her pictures. You yes. didn't want to be her, in the her, pictures. No, none of the photo shoots or nothing. It was affecting your whole life. Yes, I mean, it was. You, you missed out on that day. Yes, yes. Well, nobody should skip the family pictures mm -hmm. at your wedding or your sister's wedding. Yes. So we have a little surprise for you. We brought your sister here to L.A. Karen, come on out. <laughs> Look around and say, if I see any man in the audience. <laughs> so did you know that her smile really was affecting her life and she didn't want to be in your wedding pictures because of it? I had no idea. I mean, it was just, when she, when I asked her, and I just said, okay. But then she said, well, I'll help you with the wedding, which she did. God bless her, she did. Hmm. But I had no idea about this. I had no idea. You know, this is a woman who helps everybody. Everybody. except herself and when she came to me she said you know dr bill i've helped my kids i've helped my relatives i've helped the army i've helped every i need to help myself now mm -hmm. and that's what made it so special mm -hmm. to be able to do this for her because she deserves it thank you Ricky. Oh, oh thank my gosh you. thank you dr dorfman yes i gotta take one more picture like here wait let's all like let's all be in it ready <laughs> <laughs> okay I don't, I don't know what we got there but awesome. Janine, we have one more surprise for you. I know that Dr. Dorfman put in um, a removable uh, smile. What do you call it? Partial. It's called a removable partial denture. And okay. as much as she loves her teeth right now, the one thing that she's having a hard time with is the fact that they come out. You know, and we had talked about doing implants, but it's, it's very time consuming. It's very it's expensive. Very, very expensive. So, Janice. I spoke to Dr. Loosefeld after you left my office yesterday, and he has agreed that if you come back in four months, he and I will do implants for you, so you'll have permanent oh! 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 And you're going to 
gonna come on this show and you're gonna bite into an apple. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Dorfman, pleasure. Thank you so much.